Good morning, Algebra 2 students. I know a lot of you are still having trouble navigating um, Edgenuity since we haven't used it in class before this year. Um, so this video is just to kind of help you uh, see some video directions as to how you should get to your ACT prep classes on Edgenuity. So you have to go to the Tolleson website first. It should pop up with this little school closure notice. Just hit dismiss. So over here where it says quick links, so your students, so you're gonna have to come ho hover over to where the student link is, make sure you're where it says students. And then um, there's an Edgenuity icon there or tab. So you gotta go all the way down there to where it says Edgenuity. It's like what the seventh one down. And then you'll click on Edgenuity. It should take you to the Edgenuity home screen. So your students, you're gonna click on students um, your login for Edgenuity is the same login you use for the laptops at school. So whatever your laptop uh, login is, I know for most of you it's like your, your last name, your capital letter of your first name, your student ID, your date of birth, something like that. So whatever your login is, you'll type it in there. Um, then you got to type your password for that same thing too. Okay. And log in. <clears throat> Some, some announcements might pop up on the corner, just dismiss them for now. Now, mine has a ton of courses on it. Yours should not have as many courses as mine, just because I've got a lot of student profiles. So you're gonna have to navigate. Um, but you can see that a lot of these ones have Algebra 2 something, but this is, these are the wrong school years. So you gotta make sure you go to the one that I've been sending you snapshots of. You gotta go to the one that says Algebra 2, 2, SY, 19, 20 and then you'll look for your class period okay so you can see that this is where I start to see some of my the classes that you'll be clicking on like if your first hour you'll be clicking on this one that says Castro period one and it has the school year if your second hour look for the one that says period two you won't have as many as I have I just have a lot because I have five classes so let's pretend you're in first hour and you're gonna come over here to first hour all you need to do is click on the actual course you can click anywhere here and it should take you there. Do not click on next activity. I think a lot of you are getting confused because you click on next activity right away and you should just click on the course. So make sure you just click on the course. Don't click next activity. So click on the course itself and it'll bring you right here to, I guess it's like a home page. And this is where you need to pay attention now. So you are in the right class, hopefully. This is uh, Algebra 2, Castro Period 1. But over here on the right-hand side are all of the units that you have in that course. Now, we have already done Unit 6, Unit 7, and Unit 8 in school. We don't need to do those again. But you can see right here, kind of smack dab in between, you've got an ACT prep um, option. So you're going to click on ACT prep, and you're going to see a ton of topics pop up. There should be a total of 16 that pop up here. There's quite a few. In fact, it ends right here where it says geometric sequences and series. Okay, now I don't care which seven lessons you choose, but you're gonna choose seven of these topics and you're gonna complete the instruction, the assignment, and the quiz for each one. There are no tests in these, to in these topics, only quizzes. So, um, for instance, let's pretend you wanted to do area of composite figures. That's the fifth one down. You will click on the topic that you want to do. As soon as you click on the topic, you can see that it, it popped up, area of composite figures. Now, there's quite a few activities for you to do. It's up to you if you want to do all five of these activities. But I will be looking to see that you've completed the instruction. That is just a video of how to work out problems. They might even have some practice problems in there for you to do. So that'll take about 19 minutes to watch. This is a summary. It's up to you if you wanna do that. It's just a quick recap of what was taught in the lesson. But you are required to do the assignment. And this assignment usually has about 10 questions on it. Most of them are multiple choice. Some of them are for response, but you will need to show that you've completed this assignment that should take you about 17 minutes. And then down here at the bottom is the quiz for that section, okay? And you have to complete that quiz. There are 10 questions, multiple choice, some pre-response in that section. 
you need to make sure you do all three of these parts. The instruction. Sometimes it's called direct instruction, okay? Instruction, direct instruction are the same things. There's something called assignment. Sometimes it's not called assignment. Sometimes it's called practice. So assignment and practice are the same thing. And then you need to do the quiz, okay? You need to do those three sections for the seven lessons that you choose from this right-hand side. You can choose any seven, and I'll be looking at it every night to see what you've done. And then every two days, starting Friday this week, I will actually um, update your grades. Thank you. Bye.